G'day, my name's Dan Armstrong and uh, I'm happy to be sharing with you here today a few of the stories that uh, have taken place in my life. I want to talk to you first of all about three-legged Christians. Do you know what a three-legged Christian is? Well, it goes like this. Uh, when, when Sue and I, my wife and I, were first married, we, um, we got ourselves a little dog. And, uh, and this little dog's name was, was, was Googles, because he had those great, big, round, floating kind of eyes. And Googles was just madly in love with me. Everywhere I went, that's where Googles went. Everything I did, Googles followed along with it. She was the most faithful little dog you'd ever find. And uh, she used to come with me in my car. And I, I'd, uh, I'd put her in the back seat and I'd wind down the window and Googles would sit there uh, up on the window, head out the, out the window with the wind blowing her long fur back. She looked just like Chewbacca out of Star Wars. And uh, she just loved to ride alongside of me. One day I'm, I'm driving along in the car and this great big dog come out from the side and started barking at Googles. And Googles looked down at him and this great big dog went, ruff, ruff. And Googles went, ruff, 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 ruff. And there they went down the road, the dog barking and yapping and Googles barking and yapping back. She got so excited that she tipped right out of the car and landed wham on the road and I stopped the car and I ran back and she's lying there, her eyes rolling around and I picked her up and there she lay in my arms with one back leg just hanging down. And I, I thought, oh, this is, this is terrible. I took her to the vet and the vet examined her and he said, he said, this is uh, much worse than a break. He said, the leg has come right out of the socket. He said, we might be able to do something. So he got the leg back into the socket, bound it all up, and said, now bring her back in about six weeks and see how we go. So for the next six weeks, she hopped around on three legs. I was going to change her name to tri tripod. And, and, but there she was, and she eventually became quite happy running around on three legs. But at the end of six weeks, I took him back to the, to the vet. The vet put her up on the table, unwound the back end, and there she stood, three legs down and one leg stuck straight out behind. Anyway, he went to work on it, putting the leg down, pulling it down, pulling it down, and whoosh, up it go again, and burn down again, and down again, and whoosh, up it go again. And eventually, the four legs came to the floor. And she stood there on her four legs. And then she started to walk up and down the table on her four legs. And then he put her down on the floor. And she began to run up and down the floor on her four legs. It was wonderful. And so I very happily paid him with a big check. And I took her outside, stood on the ground outside. And there she stood looking up at me with this lovely look on her face to say, aren't I clever? And her leg went whoosh back out again and that's how she stayed for the rest of her life so it didn't matter what she did uh, there she'd be uh, but I might be walking along be hopping on three legs and she's alongside of me and there'd be a cat up in front and the cat would take off and she'd take off after it and the four legs would go to the ground and she'd be racing on the four legs until she stopped running and whoosh, up with the leg again and she stayed like that Never changed. And I used to think to myself, why, why is it like that? Obviously, she can put the four legs to the ground. Why does she only put the three to the ground, which she can do the four? And then I thought of something. I thought, this, this is what it must be. It must be that she can do it and put the four legs to the ground, but she is operating her present experience out of her past, past pain. Three legs up, 
remembering the pain. And that's how she stayed, operating her present experience out of her past pain. That's why I asked you, are you a three-legged Christian? Because, you know, I find a lot of people, a lot of Christians, who operate their life just like that. They still operate their present experience out of their past pain. They've, they've lived their lives, thing, and, and of course all of us have things happen that we wish had never happened. All of us have things within our lives that are, are things that are painful to remember and shameful sometimes to remember. But when we come to Jesus, we are forgiven. See, it says in, in Colossians, he forgives us all our sin. Not just some of our sin. Not some of the stuff that's been in our past. He forgives us all our sin. And because we still let stuff hang around within our lives, we still feel unworthy. We still don't feel good enough. We, don't, we still feel as if we can't really have that full, beautiful relationship with Jesus because we still operate out of our past experience. We have to learn, we have to understand that we are a forgiven people. People have said to me, Dan, what, what, what do you think holiness is? And I will say always, I believe that holiness is learning that you're forgiven and to walk in it. That's holiness. Because the more you understand the depth of his forgiveness, the less likely you are to fail. Don't be a three-legged Christian. Don't let your past life rule and guide and make less of your present experience. Just let Jesus fill you with his life and his love and say, I'm forgiven. I'm forgiven.